what the heck is going on guys how's everybody today we are going to be covering weapons and the different raids that give you the weapons what's good early game mid game late game all that fun stuff cheta is going to go through it for us he is very knowledgeable when it comes to that sort of stuff he likes to read i don't so he is going to cover that for us before we get into it be sure to like comment subscribe we appreciate you all right cheta all right what's going on guys so this is a video I've been looking forward to making for a little bit. Uh, these are definitely just my opinions on the weapons. But of course what I say is right. So <laughs> we're going to start at the bottom. And all the weapons are good uh, in their own right. So we're going to go into professions. And then blacksmithing. So you can pretty much just skip over these. Uh, you can get them from subjugation now, but I don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't have. Uh, they don't have the bonus. They're like different. You can't actually get them from subjugation. If you want the bonus that it gives from subjugation, then you have to craft the purple ones into the legendary. I actually made this mistake on my alt. So yeah, the legends that drop from subjugation do not give the bonus. It's like going the wrong way on your gear right here. If you go, uh, if you do this up, oh, if you do this upgrade, and then you do this upgrade, you don't get a bonus. But if you decide to go down this way, then you do get the bonus. I did that one too, by accident. Yeah, basically there's a bunch of weapons the wrong way. Uh, okay, so the the last place on my list here is the white shadow weapons. So they are probably the best early game because you can upgrade it to, I think you can get it to here. Oops. To here. Yeah, it's fairly cheap to even get all the way up to here, right? And then uh, when it's this, you got a nice high base attack uh, and you get its special bonus here. Uh, puts one skill level into an active skill, uh, but it's random of course, and you have your three skills. So it's hard to control like that. Uh, but yeah, it's better than uh, the foggy one early just because you can upgrade it so much more. So if you if you click on this one, see it's 1411. And if you click on this one, it's 1634. So it's like 220 uh, more attack, which is pretty high, especially early game. Uh, but then, of course, it gets stuck. You can't move up to the next uh, tier here until you get these uh, shield things from the seal. So you get stuck there. And uh, I, I feel it's not worth to go up to here. It gives two to a random active skill. But, of course, it's random and you have three skills. So it's hard to control which skill it goes into. It might not go into the skill that's right for your summoner. Uh, then next... I've got the Naraka ones here. So the Naraka ones are really good because you can upgrade them up to six star. I think it's this one even. Yeah, you don't even need seal map maps to get it up to here. And uh, when it's up here, it gives you the ultimate skill bonus. And that has 1,797. So that's um, 163 more than the White Shadow Castle weapon before you need the seal materials to upgrade it. Uh, the uh, the bonus is actually good. So if you build a full set of the Naraka weapons, then you only have to level your ultimate up to level 9. So you're going to save those uh, skill points. Where if you have a whole set of uh, White Shadow weapons, you're going to have some that are skill 1, some that are skill 2, so you're just going to have to upgrade them all to level 10 if you want to have them all at level 10 for every weapon. Uh, but yeah, so the, the Narok ones are really nice. Uh, one of the best parts about them is that they just drop at this. Uh, this 521 base attack here, which is pretty much... Well, it would be the same as this upgrade. So it's pretty much the same as this, only like 100 and a bit less. And that's with no upgrade materials into it. And then it's, it's super cheap just to give this one upgrade. And then another upgrade, fairly cheap as well. And then you're getting into the bonus and super high attack. 
It does cost you a lot of the lanterns, but if you make sure that you're doing your support battle every single day for your White Shadow Castle, you'll get those lanterns kind of a lot. Same with the horns, too, actually. Also, you're just going to have to go through uh, enough White Castle runs to get good enough gear to do your Naraka anyways on at the start. Uh, and then for the third best weapon, the one that I chose is the Twisted Marsh one. So the Twisted Marsh one increases the skill level of basic attacks of the weapon attribute by two. It'll come up eventually there. Um, but yeah, uh, just like the Naraka one, it starts at this four star here. Um, the, the bonus is better than the Naraka one because it's by two on your basic attack. So it's two less skills. So if you build the whole set of uh, Twisted Marsh weapons, then you only have to level your basic attack up to eight and then it'll give you the level 10. Uh, damage output and then another big benefit is that you can just craft these things these are the uh, only weapons that you can just craft all the other ones you can buy them from the uh, coin shops of course but these ones you can just craft it's just a couple of these and these materials are fairly cheap 20k sky stones but you might get a light and dark so that's how that goes uh it's kind of cheap to upgrade it just needs two, two, and two, and then six of these wings. That's all seal, though. Yeah, these are all seal things. But uh, seal opens before Twisted Marsh. Mm -hmm. So you should have uh, some seal mats saved, hopefully. And then, yeah, it upgrades to the max level here. Still pretty cheap, just four, four, and four, and eight wings. I don't know what seal you're doing. I never get mats. Well, you can see all the mats that I have. And I upgrade my stuff. Um, so yeah, so it's really nice. It's cheap to upgrade. And then, uh, our next one here. So this is what I think is the second best. And, uh, it's the best one, like, mid-game or, or whatever you want to call it. So after you're at the point where I am here, uh, going to the skills here. So I've got, uh, all my passives are done. I just didn't even put points into this at all. I don't see any point if someone dies. Uh, yeah, coming back in three minutes isn't going to help me. Um, so, yeah, so after you're here, then you're going to start to put into other skills. So the weapon that I have right now is a Naraka one. So this is actually an eight. Uh, and I just ma I just maxed out this. And then I'm going to I'm going to work into maxing out all these. And that's because this weapon here, the Foggy Prison weapon, if I can get back there. Foggy Prison. Uh, so I'll, you're not even going to want to build these until you can make them into six star at least. Um, but this one will give you to the attribute research skill by two. So that is, uh, damage percent. It does say random attribute, but it's just the attribute that the weapon is. Yeah. So, so it'll give you two levels into this. So if I just give myself two levels here, it gives me an extra 2% damage. So every level's a percent of damage. But, uh, if you can see here, I need to actually I need to switch weapons. Uh, yeah, if you can see here now... So I have, uh, the wind one is my foggy weapon. So it's already at level 3, so if I max this one up, it's going to cost me 115 to get it to level 10. And it's just actually at level 1, but because of my weapon, it's getting upgraded. So in the, if I go to this one, and I make it level 10, see it's 250, so that's saving me a lot of skill points. So if you build your whole set of foggy, Overall, it'll save you 675 skill points, and then you'll be at max build. So you have all these at 10, all these max, all these max, maybe even your uh, guy revive, and then you'll have two uh, bonus levels into each one of your weapons, and then you can start upgrading them and to get them to level uh, 10. It'll only cost you that 115 uh, skill points there. So you'll be able to hit max build early with uh, less amount of skill books. I'm kind of low on the skill books. I need to uh, I need to farm more. 
Uh, what do, what do you use, Barbara? Exploration. Exploration, yeah. I need to get more pages. Uh, and then, last but definitely not least, we have the uh, seal weapon. So the seal weapon, actually, it's probably better to show it in my bag. So the seal weapon here, I have one here that I just got today. Or was it? No, it was yesterday. So it gives you... 55 bonus attack to your monsters. And then when you finally get it to 6 star, gives you 85 attack to your monsters. Go back in here. Uh, here we go. So, the good quality about this is you can just craft it. Just like the uh, Twisted Marsh one, it's a little more expensive because it's how much they want to upgrade the Twisted Marsh one. Uh, and then, yeah, you can get them as drops. Uh, you can actually get a 4-star or a 5-star 4 Awaken as a drop from Seal. Uh, and then they are fairly cheap to upgrade. So 2-2-2 two, two, and two with some horns. 2-2-2 two, two, and two with some lanterns. You can buy it from the Seal shop just with one 6-star, 1-star Awakened. I highly recommend putting all your Seal points from your Seal that way. Because then you save a lot of these mats in this upgrading. But you can do it this way as well because you need all your weapons. And they are super cheap. Yeah. So again, 2-2-2 two, two and, two and some lanterns. This, is that this one? Yeah, 2-2-2 two, two and, two and some lanterns. Oh, then 2-2-2 two, 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 and some lanterns again. And then uh, th then from here on, they just want wings and easy materials. And then to get to the max, it's just wings and lots of easy materials. Uh, but yeah, this is the best one by far. The, uh, the monster attack that it gives. So all the other ones, once you get enough skill points, those are going to do nothing. Every single other weapon, uh, when you get up to your max skill points, they're not actually going to give you any bonus. Because you're going to either be sitting on the skill points or something. Hopefully, uh, in the future, Calm to Us lets the weapons go above the cap. So then the weapons like have a reason to exist. Uh, because once you finally fill out that skill tree thing, this is the only weapon that you're going to want to use. Because the other ones will just have no bonus for you. Uh... But what, what else? I got, I got some notes here. Let's see. Just bonus. Go above. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that, that's it. So so these seal weapons are the best. So Just like, show, show the shop. Yeah, I'm quick. going there right yeah. now. It's so like Basic was saying the shop. Because to me, this just makes way more sense than like RNGing the crafting of them. But I also don't do my uh, supports like I should. But yeah, you can literally just craft it at so I did this today and got a light weapon, and it was the best day of my life. Yeah. Uh, but if, if you craft uh, these lower one here, so it is a bad rate, but it's it's less for sure. And it can come at a six star awaken, but there is no, uh, oh, yeah, th nice. they don't give you the bonus on this one. But yeah, you can do that for all the weapons, of course. You can buy these ones, and I think these ones even, yeah, you can get the bonus of uh, up to the one before. And same with the White Shadow Castle here as well. You can get up super high. But yeah, that's about it on the weapons. These are... Uh... Can you retell us your tier list one more time in order? Oh, the tier list in order? Yeah. So, number one, I've got Seal as uh, Extreme Endgame best one. Number two, I have Foggy as like the mid end game when you're close to finishing off your book... It'll help you push out more damage, but the seal one's still probably better. Uh, number three, I got twisted because basic attack, you do your basic attack a lot. It also gives two to it. Uh, number four, Naraka, because all of them are the same again. It's all into that ultimate. And then number five, I've got White Shadow Castle. It's a really good early game because it'll give you the highest attack, and White Shadow Castle is actually super easy to farm. It's, I find it to be easier than uh, Foggy Prison. And the nice thing that it's the easiest one to farm is the one you need the most mats for. The lanterns you use for a lot of different gear, it seems to be the most popular one. So again, those uh, uh, supports every day, what are they called? Daily runs? Supports, right? Yeah, they're called supports. 
yeah, yeah. you want to make sure you're doing that for at least your lantern again like Chetta said you can clear it in like 30 seconds uh, yeah if you get a good party it's one minute easy every time skip the arms too uh but that's it so like comment subscribe and we will catch you in the next one